deep within the forests and jungles of remote Lao, there are thousands of huge jars, stone jars, that were created in the first millennia BCE. And even to this day, it still stumps archaeologists as to their original purpose. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we are near Pon Savon Lao at the Plain of Jars, sites that have survived not only time, but devastation of war. The information was extracted from them. Barbed wire in the electrified fence. 136 people died. The poignancy of war. Mortality was 10%. There are many theories as to why these jars were created. Water storage, salt storage, even for human remains. Of course, besides the oddity of the jars and the sheer quantity of them, what makes them significant is, uh, is their size, often weighing several tons. This is Site 2 within the Plain of Jars. We're going to go back to Site 1, closest to the city of Pont Savan, where we will get a better understanding of the importance and the significance the America or the Vietnam War had on this archaeological and culturally important site. we get to Site 1, a quick refresher about the history of the America and or the Vietnam War in Laos. During a nine-year period from 1964 until 1973, it was this country that endured the greatest concentration of bombing in the history of mankind when over 2 million tons or 270 million bombs were dropped or detonated predominantly in the countryside closest to Pont Savon. And the reason for this was that it was North Vietnam who used this area to transport its troops and materials from the north into the south, while it was the Americans who then bombed this area in order to stop any communist flow during the America or Vietnam War. So nowadays we can see a large bomb crater like uh, our over there, it's uh, 500 kilograms bomb crater. The Plain of Jars consists of dozens of sites around Pont Savon. And within these sites, there are thousands of these 2,500 year old gigantic stone jars. Some people turn to the sky or they think about maybe the God sent it here. But nowadays we know exactly about the stone jar come from. The stone, stone jar come from this mountain, but there are the foggy we can't see now. Mm -hmm the quarry site up there. We believe that maybe it moved the stone jar from this mountain by here, by elephant. Yeah. Regardless of the archaeological or cultural importance of the Plain of Jars, this area saw significant fighting during the America or the Vietnam War of the mid-60s through the early 70s. Mountain around here, we can uh, see so many twins like this on up the top of the mountains around here. By design, the largest statue of Buddha has been placed closest to the Plain of Jars because it was this area that saw a lot of fighting during the America or the Vietnam War. This is a bomb crater. It's not difficult to find remnants of the war in the countryside. This is a hollowed out Russian tank. We harvest the rice and the fish go to the bomb cutter and easy to catch the fish in the bomb cutter. Uh. 
Site 3 will be the third and final stop on this tour. This, uh, this area was only opened in uh, 2018. I mentioned earlier that there are several dozen of these sites around Pont Savon. However, only seven are open to the public. And the reason for that is that still many of these areas have a high concentration of unexploded ordinances, mines. Uh, white and green, it white is a safe place that uh, we clear the bomb yes, and the green is not safe place uh, because we no have the funding enough to clear the bomb. We just only clear the pathway to the jar side tree. It is calculated that of those 270 million bombs that were dropped, 30% did not detonate. And yes, even 50 years after the America-Vietnam War, bombs still go off and victims are claimed. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, to stay slices on the of life, not a lot of money. From near Pont Savon Lao, at the Plain of Jars. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Which one means avalanche? If you want to help the people by uh, clear the bomb and make for this rent it is safe. Uh, please, if you can help by the give money or your opinion to help. So thank you.